Good afternoon, everyone. Um, today, we are very excited to introduce our new show for VNTV, and we will do it every two weeks of the month. And um, um, the name of our show is Asian American Lifestyle. Um, we will include every topic like health event, um, social media, um, mental health, and then lifestyle everything that you can think of. We just wanted to share the information and hope that you guys will have fun and enjoy and have the information to use or apply to your daily lifestyle. Um, and I also very excited to introduce to you and welcome back Dr. Kwa Trung. Uh, thank you so um, much for having and, me back. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, it wasn't our choice, but we decided <laughs> to, to include but, you in the right, show. I'm back <laughs> and uh, getting my strength, coming back stronger. <laughs> À, vâng thưa quý vị à, chào mừng tất cả quý vị đến với à, chương trình một cái chương trình mới của chúng tôi gồm có Vân Anh à, bác sĩ nhãn khoa à, Trương Đăng Khoa cũng như là cô Dana Chang cô là giám đốc điều hành à, của công ty Derma TLC là một à, cái công ty chuyên lo về à, sắc đẹp cho chị em phụ nữ của chúng ta cảm ơn chị Vân Anh um, thì today we will um, pick one topic that everybody I think uh, have effect in everybody life or maybe have bring in positive um, energy and um, sharing information within family and friend even though you have a long distance friend long distance family you'll be able to connect and to be able to share the memory that you have with each other and um, that is Facebook mm. um, I am personally um, very uh, a very private person so mm -hmm. I don't use Facebook a lot besides just for my business um, I'm very new to Facebook as always for many years I don't have any knowledge much knowledge about Facebook beside pretty much to maybe reply to a comment or or maybe to look at you know things that people do daily or other you than read that uh, your friends uh, post right yes <laughs> I'll read my friends post or maybe you know it's it's funny I love Facebook for a couple of things the first thing is I love to see where people travel to mm. uh, because then it will give me a list of things that yeah. okay, maybe I should go there and then the second thing is uh, where they eat because I love food <laughs> and, and I think that's also a great thing to share oh my god this restaurant they have great food and they have great price and you know great am 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 amenities mm -hmm. or environment that you can share with your friends and another thing is to really see uh, if our friend doing something fun or great for the community. Mm -hmm. I, I think those are the things that I really love about Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, so Kwa, what do you think about so Facebook? You, so, you know, from human history, um, humans, we need connection, mm. you know. Um, so technology allows us now to have that connection, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, friendship, right, camaraderie, that's from, as long as we've been humans, it's just a human need. Mm -hmm. It's a basic human need to feel loved and be loved. And so Facebook does allow that you can connect with people. Like for example, I recently connected with my best friend from middle school yesterday. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen wow. him in uh, it's more than 30, well, I don't, I don't want you to tell my age, but let's just say it's a long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then so it's one of those things where, you know, it tugs at the heart, you know, the, the human connection. So it depends on what you use it for. And, you know, if you use it correctly, it can be a very positive tool to stay connected with people you love or your people you want to stay in touch with. But of course, there are, you know, bad people out there, so we just got to be careful. Uh, even businesses, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, we, we, before we have to pay so much money for marketing, advertising, yeah. mm -hmm. right now you can basically do 80% personal, 20% business, and you still get a lot of business through oh, Facebook. Definitely, yeah, yeah like for my positive. office, um, mm -hmm. I have KDT up Tom Tree, as you've realized, um, it's in Sam's Club. Uh, so um, a lot of people don't know that I'm inside the Sam's Club, or they don't even know there is a doctor mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So what I do is when I see a nice article, I like to post it, and then I also do targeted ads. So basically how it works is it targets people around that area, around my area, within let's say five mile radius, and it targets, you know, there's ads that pop up as they're doing their news feed. Mm -hmm. They're looking at their friends, and then they're like, whoa, wait a minute, there's a Tom Chris near, and then mm. and he posted a pretty good article. Let's, let's at least check him out, or give him mm -hmm. a call, or, and see. So there is the aspect with the business, as you mentioned, Dana. Mm -hmm. à, vâng, thưa quý vị, à, Vân Anh xin được uh, summarize, tức là uh, 
gọn tóm gọn đẩy mà Dana và bác sĩ Khoa vừa mới chia sẻ với chúng ta à, Cái đề tài ngày hôm nay chúng tôi sẽ chia sẻ với quý vị về đề tài Facebook là ai trong chúng ta cũng sử dụng phải không quý vị Và với Dana thì cô rất là còn mới trên Facebook Cô có Facebook nhưng mà ít có khi nào post lên Cô chỉ đi lên để xem à, và comment lại những cái comment à, của, của bạn bè trả lời Và cái mà à, Dana à, nhận được cảm thấy thích đó là à, khi mà bạn bè chia sẻ những cái nơi du lịch <cười> và những cái nhà hàng để cô có thể đến à, để mà thưởng thức những cái món ăn cũng như là đi đến những cái nơi mà à, cô cô rất là thích à, bên cạnh đó thì à, à, bác sĩ khoa cho rằng à, là con người tự nhiên khi mà chúng ta sinh ra ai cũng muốn có một cái sự để ý tự giao tiếp với mọi người chung quanh và với cái đà tiến bộ của khoa học kỹ thuật thì Facebook mạng lưới xã hội đã cho chúng ta có cái cơ hội đó trong suốt nhiều năm vừa qua và bác sĩ Khoa Trương đã thấy được cái sự lợi ích trong cuộc sống hàng ngày cũng như là về cái business của chúng ta mà không có phải tốn kém gì hết um, thì um, like I said I, I don't have much experience with Facebook So being me, it would be a great show for people that uh, kind of, if they want to get into Facebook, uh, what do they need to know and, and what do they need to really prevent from uh, getting the negative feeling by using Facebook. So my first question to you, uh, Kwa, yes. is um, has, how has your life changed since you start using Facebook? So um, Facebook, you know, there are other social media before Facebook, mm -hmm. like Friendster, right? Yes, That's, yes. Or MySpace. Uh -huh. So I was connected oh. with that. And actually, really? I before, before Facebook? Before Facebook, yeah, 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 there was MySpace, yeah. there was know. Friendster. Mm -hmm. So I was actually utilizing that way before wow. then. And mm -hmm. actually, I met some really you good friends. You must friend. have social media. <laughs> no, I, don't know <laughs> about that. I don't know about that. But I actually met. I heard about it, but I never really yeah. knew. Okay, so yeah. um, let me share your story. Um, John, my, one of my best friends, Johnny Mai, and his mm -hmm. wife, Christy, Christy Mai, they are, I found them, we connected through MySpace. Wow. Yeah, MySpace. and then uh, my oh, best okay. friend, I was w one of his groomsmen for his wedding. Had it not been for MySpace, I probably never would have met him. But, you know, we shared a passion for working out. Mm -hmm. And so we just started talking and then we met up and we got along really well. So, Johnny, that was, uh, thank you, MySpace, for my, <laughs> one of my best friends. So, uh, that's a great um, angle. So, between uh, MySpace and Facebook, why do you think that Facebook gets so popular and, and, and MySpace never really So, basically, yeah, MySpace, um, it, it turned to too much negativity with MySpace. Uh -huh. There was, you know, you could post videos, but then it they came to become like a meat market uh -huh. for MySpace. So there was a lot of negativity connotation uh -huh. with that. Uh -huh. But um, Facebook, you know, it started actually in the college campus, oh, right? Okay. And then so there was a lot of college oh, students and they gained wow. traction. In um, so, but yeah, it, it, it integrated so many different tools that allowed people to sh instantly share. Um, and then, but the thing is, is we live in a world now where everything's right away, right? Gra instant gratification. Mm -hmm. And so what you see on Facebook is everyone's best face. So you don't see people's struggles. You don't see, so there's a lot, you know, that's why people tend to compare. Like, mm. you know, that can cause like, oh, okay, well, wow, he, he has a lot more muscles. He has a better car or, mm. you know, so we have to take that with a grain of salt. Right? Definitely, it's, because it's not everything is what it seems. Uh, what it seems. seems. So wow. we have people to, present their yeah, best face, their best car, be, their best day. Because nobody's gonna smile. go up and say, oh my God, I'm so depressed, yeah. right? Except, you know, certain mm -hmm. people that being honest and said, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've been yeah. through a lot. I'm overburned myself with work and, and mm -hmm. personal. And that I really, you know, be off Facebook for a while and come back. But I, I think that's a great a point. So mm -hmm. it changed your life in a way that you get to connect with people that you never think you could mm -hmm. be able to. But and also, yes. there are times when I feel burnt out. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I retreat. I go into a cave and I hibernate. So mm -hmm. you don't see any posts within years. But that's okay. But during that time, I needed to get that strength. And because if you get to the point where if you're not feeling well, um, you don't want that social interaction. You need that time to heal. And Facebook itself can be pretty overwhelming, right? Especially if you're out there, people know who you are. And then if you're not feeling the best, you don't want to present that to the world. So, so is that you think that also a um, mixed messages when mm -hmm. you say that when you don't feel your best, you don't want to be on Facebook? Well, but it, everyone has mm -hmm. a different, you know, mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. when they don't feel well, they reach out to others. Mm -hmm. Well, for me personally, I, I tend to reach out within myself okay. because it's my own wow. soul that I need mm -hmm. to correct. Right, not anyone else's soul, and I don't want to put that burden on anyone. Very else. interesting. Yeah. So it depends yeah, sharing, on what. Yeah. Um, just depends on you know what your personal character characteristic is. 
À, vâng thưa quý vị, à, từ nãy giờ quý vị đã nghe bác sĩ Khoa đã chia sẻ những cái kinh nghiệm mà cho chính cá nhân của bác sĩ Khoa cũng như là cô Dena về Facebook. À, bác sĩ Khoa có chia sẻ với chúng ta là trước khi mà Facebook ra đời á, thì đã có MySpace. <cười> MySpace, uh, the uh, yeah. yep. à, Và bác sĩ Khoa đã tìm được những người bạn cũ qua qua MySpace và khi mà Facebook ra đời á, tại vì Facebook cái người um, Facebook đã ra đời từ trong trường đại học cho nên đó, đó là rất rất là nổi tiếng rất là có nhiều người tham dự à, thì bác sĩ khoa chia sẻ cá nhân của bác sĩ khoa là tại vì à, khi mà chúng ta post cái gì lên facebook là ai cũng vậy post những cái đẹp đẽ những cái positive những cái rất là hào quang ở trên facebook ừ. cho nên cái điều đó đã tạo ra một cái sự cạnh tranh với những cái người bạn của facebook của mình à, giống như bác sĩ khoa nói ồ người kia có cái mức sổ lớn như thế này tôi không có à, người kia đẹp như thế này tôi không có và từ đó sẽ đem đến những cái um, sự cạnh tranh đó và đối với bác sĩ khoa thì à, khi mà bác sĩ khoa cảm thấy không có được à, cái tinh thần không có được à, vui á, thì bác sĩ khoa không có lên facebook trong một thời gian và bây giờ à, đã trở lại. Thank you, so yeah. I, I think I, what chị Vân Anh brought up a very great angle too that um, by using Facebook um, you be able to really connect to friend and family in a positive way. Mm -hmm. But the competition is also an angle that people are looking at. Mm -hmm. But if we're really looking at a, a really positive angle that instead of we actually want to compete, we actually want that will give you the motivation to do better. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, true. And, and, and instead point. of actually looking at an angle, oh mm -hmm. my God, I'm, yeah. I'm envy you because yeah. you have better than me. But it actually give you that motivation. You know what? If I really want that nice car, mm -hmm. let maybe I, I can work hard and get yeah. that car. But or maybe I work harder yeah. on my exercise part sure. of it. So. It's more on the opposite of the. If you think positive on the angle of everything, it will really kind of generate mm -hmm. that positive yeah. feeling. Yeah, that's a great yes. point. But it also ties into what the person's personality trait mm -hmm. is. Because mm -hmm. some people are sharers, some people are takers, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone has a different. So some people like to share the love. You know, they see a pretty girl, they com you compliment them. Mm -hmm. But then there are some girls, they see another pretty girl and they see competition and they put, they're trying to put them down, mm -hmm. right? So there's, mm. it just depends on the person. Everyone has a certain personality characteristic that can't really be changed. You know, people say they can change, but in reality, it's ingrained within your soul. And so it's one of those where, you know, there are things that can change, but a lot of times that it's, it's, it's a, it's a, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. It's ingrained uh, in there. Vâng thưa quý vị, cái cái nhiệm vụ của Vân Anh ngày hôm nay là À, tóm tắt lại đại ý của hai người bạn của chúng ta chia sẻ bằng tiếng Anh để cho à, tất cả những người à, audience của VNTV à, khắp nơi trên thế giới kể cả Việt Nam cũng có thể à, theo dõi được chương trình ngày hôm nay thì à, thưa quý vị à, Dana vừa, vừa mới chia sẻ với chúng ta thay vì à, có những cái trường hợp khi mà mình thấy những người bạn bè mình trên Facebook à, lúc nào cũng có những cái hình ảnh đẹp những cái sự thành công làm cho chúng mình à, làm cho mình cảm thấy pressure thì mình nhìn phong cũng một cái khía cạnh tích cực hơn là khi mà mình thấy người bạn mình có cái xe mới có xe đẹp như vậy có nhà à, to như vậy thành công như vậy làm được nhiều tiền như vậy thì chúng ta sẽ cố gắng hơn để mà à, cũng thành công giống như người bạn đó và bên cạnh đó thì bác sĩ Khoa cho rằng cái đó là tùy theo à, cá nhân của mỗi người có những người họ nhìn thấy một người bạn của mình xinh đẹp như vậy thì họ sẽ cố gắng để xinh đẹp giống như vậy nhưng mà có những người khi mà nhìn thấy người bạn của mình xinh đẹp như vậy trong khi cuộc sống của mình thì gặp những nghịch ngã những cái không may mình không có thời gian để mà chăm sóc sức khỏe cho mình thì cái điều đó làm cho họ có một cái áp lực trong cuộc sống và đôi khi sẽ đem đến cho họ một cái sức khỏe không tốt yeah. cả về uh, sức khỏe um, và cái mental uh, dạ, và 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 thể chất luôn phải không bác sĩ khoa and, and I, I do agree with khoa in that sense for me if I see somebody pretty I'm like oh my god it make the world pretty mm -hmm. and I'm happy for yeah. them and if I see you have nice car nice house I know you probably work very hard for mm -hmm. it I'm happy for you and I think that that will be something that we all maybe want to resonate and and sure. believe that all of us all have great quality we all have our life we no life is perfect yeah. we all have issue we never show it but the the grass never greener oh, no, on the yes. other end yeah. so so for me i always feel that if you have that feeling of always feeling happy for somebody else and never expect anything somehow things actually come back even greater yeah that's a great yes. point yeah. so you post more on facebook <laughs> 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 no i will call you guys more but not post <laughs> no it's um it's about putting positive energy into yes the yeah really. so yeah. we put Everything positive energy, positive energy yeah. our, our people don't realize but our thoughts is energy 
So when you think <laughs> positive thoughts, it resonates. So people are attracted to you. But when you're obviously down and or you're angry, people stay away from you because you're putting out that negative energy, right? So we, we all have that energy within us and everyone I think is born with a purpose on this earth. Mm -hmm, and definitely. So, yeah, everyone, you know, it depends on, not, not many people are actually able to find it, but. Yet. Yet. They haven't found it yet. yet. But, but when you find, find it, it, it's so, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so inspiration when you mm -hmm. know what your goal in this life yes. for, and then you and will you never mm -hmm. feel alone again, and uh -huh. you will never feel like That's you know hopeless or anything mm -hmm. because then you know what you needed to do yeah. this life because life is short. I totally yes. agree. How about what you think about um, how can we control our children um, to get the best benefit from Facebook? Before we go to that question, I think this question will be a pretty good one to set up for your, okay, your okay. question, right? So this one, I, I always wanted to, like you said, instant gratu mm -hmm. gratification, yeah. right? Yeah. So my question to you is this, how does it make you feel when you get instant like uh, so, or, or none at all? For me personally, um, luckily I, I am surrounded by many good Facebook friends and so that show me support. And so when I post something like, for example, our live video, within you know a couple seconds, there was like five or six likes. So Const constantly and instantly, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But let's say I post something that's really important to me, and I don't get likes. None. Th then yes. How do you I, feel? I, I, yeah, I might yeah, feel a little yeah, bit yeah. disappointed. But mm -hmm. you know, I, I can't. So in this world, you can't please everyone. Uh, but obviously, if I don't get any likes, I might, might I, I would look upon myself and see why, you know, it didn't get any good reception. Because I try to post good stuff. I try to post, you know, my biking. Uh, just good positive, positive quotes, energy. positive energy, some good music, just to send that send that positive energy into you know into the people's lives. Um, so that's in my point. So every time when you guys post something, mm -hmm. not to just for people to look at it, see it, feel it, but you actually want them to respond to it. And if mm -hmm. it's not, then of course it make you feel a little bit. Yeah, if I don't get yeah, zero right. response for something, then must have been something you know. People okay, then that like lead all. me to the question that Chi Bang An have. Okay. How can we help our children and teenagers to be able to use Facebook effectively, but in a very positive way? Mm -hmm. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have children as of yet, but uh, I've read a lot of articles about you know the effects of Facebook on children, and we right now we live in an instant gratification society. So we have to educate our children and know and tell them, you know, that we're all loved. You know, they, children, they are so um, moldable still, right? There's so much mm -hmm. they need to learn and mold within themselves and develop within their own tools. Even men yeah. have a little boy in them. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, basically teenagers, they need to, and children, they need to be carefully monitored. By because right now you can see because, a six years old yeah. using a phone, yeah. know exactly what to do yeah. on the app, on the Facebook, yeah. on Instagram and everything. So I think it's very important for us to let them know that everything that they see on mm -hmm. Facebook mm -hmm. doesn't mean no. that's how life, real life is. Real life is. Mm -hmm. um, so like, let's go back to when you feel overburned and you hibernate. That's mm -hmm. in my word, not your word. Okay. Because that my, uh, every time <laughs> when I'm tired, I'm hibernated. But, but the, the point I'm trying to say is that you can, instead of just always depend on social media mm -hmm. to make you feel loved or, or happy, I, I think that the key is we need to remind that we do have great fans that you can mm -hmm. just a phone call away if you need to talk yeah. and I think that the personal touch it always um, it's it always work well no matter as what century you are mm -hmm. in I totally agree yes uh, right yeah so that's mm -hmm. why I think I wanted to make a really um, main point for our teenager mm -hmm. and 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 our children nowadays mm -hmm. in this society um, don't we I mean so sorry it's great mm -hmm. don't get me wrong it's great but if you think that social media is not generate a positive energy for you, reach out to a great friend or friend that actually truly care for you and, and talk to them when you need an advice or you, or you need uh, somebody to just a shoulder to lean on and, and to just read a book or to just do nothing, yeah. just hang out and do nothing. Thank you, Dana, think, for, yeah. uh, for being that friend for me. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'm, I'm only doing that so I can bring you back to the show. Okay, all right, yes, fine. Yeah, whatever works, go. whatever yes. works. Vâng, <laughs> okay. uh, thưa quý vị, uh, thì từ nãy giờ uh, Dana cũng như là bác sĩ Khoa vừa, vừa mới chia sẻ với chúng ta những cái uh, um, 
lợi ích của Facebook đã mang đến cho cuộc sống của chúng ta những sự tiện lợi chúng ta có thể kiếm được rất được nhiều người bạn mà đã xa cách từ bao lâu nhưng mà nếu mà chúng ta xài nhiều quá và khi mà Facebook đã ảnh hưởng đến cuộc sống của chúng ta như vậy thì chúng ta phải ba lăng ra ao tức là cho nó hài hòa trong cuộc sống và đặc biệt là với khi mà quý vị có con em ở nhà có trẻ em ở nhà thì chúng ta cũng phải cần à, giáo dục cho các em biết rằng những cái gì ở trên Facebook đó, nó không phải à, là thật sự là diễn ra trong đời sống hàng ngày của chúng ta. Thank you for having me back. I appreciate the love and support and uh, and please give us suggestions on what topics you want us cover and uh, we appreciate. And see you uh, on Facebook. And we'll see you on Facebook. <cười> Have a wonderful day. In a minute. <cười> <cười> Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình ngày hôm nay và xin thân ái chào tạm biệt. Cảm ơn quý vị. Thank you.